Now, I felt that uh, what's been going on is confusing for your company. Uh, you had spectacular numbers, but they would have been even more spectacular had your suppliers, in some cases, let you down. That's my own view. Not delivered. But now people are saying, wait a second, he's going to get all that supply and there'll be no demand. You know, Jim, it's not really a supply issue. I mean, our suppliers are working their tails off. We had earnings, you know, earnings were up 70 percent in the quarter. Sales were up 10. Retail sales were up 15 and we really think retail could have been up closer to 30 and given us a good market share gains if our suppliers had been able to keep up. But really, if you think about the demand we've seen, it's not fair to think that our suppliers could be able to ramp up their capacity 50 percent in a short period of time. So we're working with them. Um, we're giving them some of our employees. We're sending out some of our plant managers to help ramp up. But really, it's an all out effort to be able to serve our customers and our dealers and get them the products that they want. So. Um, certainly, it's a challenge, but really, it's a challenge presented because of the unprecedented demand. We've had over 400,000 new people enter the Polaris um, portfolio this year, and it's those new customers that are going to drive the enduring demand because they want to bring so many of their friends in. So um, through October and even November, demand has been incredibly strong, and uh, we're working our factories day and night to try to keep up. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.